in as long as they can be. So they have to learn to play with their arms upright and their arms out at all times on the court. All right? So he's going to play the plant and he's going to get out the grow. This is because this is the eraser. And Jamal is here. And he, the key to this defense, it is an assignment defense. An assignment defense. You have an assignment and you must do your job. Okay? When the ball's there, everybody will have two jobs to do. His job is if Micah gets beat off the dribble, he's got the ball. His second job is to keep the ball out of the high post. All right, give me a Mason in there. Somebody go over there. So the wings, if, if, if uh, Jalen, if Jalen has one guy on his side, he's an all-out denier. All-out denier. Another way to show him. Trey has two guys on his side. Now, Kevin Willard, who just spoke, his father was a, not a good college basketball coach. He was a great college basketball coach. And he also was very innovative. That's the word. He, he taught me this, and it's one of the best things I've ever learned. He plays this guy with his back to the baseline, sideline. As big as he can be. And he's going to be between these two guys. Side of one, one on your side, all up and on. Side of two on your side, you're there. Okay? I mean, is that four? Give me a guy down in the post. So. First pass is thrown. Obviously, we don't want it thrown over there. But if the ball is entered, the wing has the first pass. The wing does. Unless it's entered in there, which then I get mad because it's not supposed to go in. So if that ball goes there, Jamal is on that elbow. Micah drops to that elbow. Jalen has a foot in the paint. And this guy from an open stance comes in the passing lane and cannot make a direct line pass to the corner. Can't make it. It's got to be way up in the air over me. It's got to be a bounce pass off the side. And then pressure. The whole predication of this defense is pressure. We want ball pressure. All 18 seconds that they have the ball on, on this in our side. All right. So, got two jobs, Jamal. His first job is to keep the ball out of the high post. His second job is if Trey gets beat here, he now has him. Okay? And, we, and Trey does what we call flood to the corner. That's release him and flood. We never have two on the ball. If you have two on the ball, you're going to get beat. If you have two on the ball, it better be a trap, all out, high pressure trap. Jamal stays here. If Eric, or, or, uh, Emmanuel is probing with the ball, he's going to continue to guard. If he puts his head down and dribbles, now he comes. Okay, go back. So he gets the ball here and he throws it to the corner. Our big is coming and Trey is going to trap, but he's trapping at this angle. It's here, he's running like a V cut to here, planning and coming. Jamal's coming out in the nine, and this is a key part of it. This swing has got to go baseline side front the post. And Michael plays center field. He, he cleans up anything. If the ball is skipped to the other side, it's Michael's. Okay? All right, put the ball back. So, side of one, we deny. He must communicate to Jalen 
got two, you got two. How about two? You got one. You got two, Jalen. Now Jalen believes in opens. Alright? Michael Crushers. This guy does not leave the basket. Does not leave the basket. Okay? Obviously, he leaves it to go track. The rest of it, the ball's on top. He doesn't leave. Come on. Great. Good ball right here. Good ball right here. Right here. He doesn't go hard. Come on, get out. Even if something happens and the ball goes there, he does not go hard. We let them shoot this shot. Let them shoot. 38%. If my team gives up 38% from the floor, we will lead the nation in field goal percent defense. If we, for the season, if we give up 38%, we will lead the nation. The NBA shoots this shot at 38%. Now, what happens is a guy will go in there, he's all along, he catches it, he makes it, and, and every mom and dad goes, what the? How dumb is that? Thank you. 